Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to the channel, Fish and Trips. Check it, man. We got a special episode for y'all today because today's episode is a redemption episode, man. What does it mean about redemption? Look, man, I went to this park the other day. I fished this creek for about four hours. The first three hours, I didn't catch nothing. The last hour, you know, I was able to find a spot to get on a couple, meaning two, literally two white bass after four hours. Now, the thing that kind of messed me up, right across where I was casting at, there were two gentlemen, right? They were doing some kind of magical tandem rig and they caught about 10 in an hour. So that's goal number one. We about to head up Academy right here and we're gonna see can we find that magical tandem rig. I don't know what it's called. I didn't know what it looks like from 50 yards away. Number two, I had my little portable combo rod and reel. I can only throw my lures like 10 feet. That's it, 10 feet. So that, that messed me up as well. So now what I'm doing is I got my fancy ultralight rod and reel that's meant to throw really light rods and we're gonna bring that out. Number two, I already said number two. Number three is my damn audio. My damn audio for half the blog was, it, it was trash. I know why it's, I don't wanna get technical. So yeah, that, that really messed me up, man. So I'm trying to come back, shoot an episode that I'm proud of, man. I wanna have it visually immaculate. I want the audio to be immaculate and I wanna catch some damn fish and not after five hours. So that's today's go. Let's go to the academy. Let's go find some micro lures and some double tandem rigs. We're gonna go back to this park. We're gonna shoot something beautiful and we're gonna kill a fish. Personally, I think I can do it. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Let's go. All right, y'all, so um, yeah, like I said, there's a tandem rig that I'm looking for, okay? Along with the tandem rig. Also, I had like, in the thumbnail of my last video, there was a micro lure crankbait. I don't know where I got it at, but I know I, I did catch something on it, right? The second cast, I got something else, but I lost it. Third cast, it got stuck on the bottom and I lost it. So what I'm trying to do is look for a micro crankbait in a tandem rig. This is freshwater hard baits, so it could be a jig. I'm not really sure what the hell I'm looking for. To me, a tandem rig would also be like meant for like speckled trout, but maybe it just work well for um, these white bass. I don't know, man. We just gotta keep looking around. I want a micro, micro crankbait and a tandem rig. I asked on my YouTube channel, hey, does anybody know of a tandem rig that kills for white? white bass. Let me check on my comments to see if there's anything response to that. I'll be back. All right, y'all, check it out, man. I think I found the crankbait I had yesterday that was killing it before I lost it. It's like it was a Salt King Visti Minnow. So look, this is the photo that I took yesterday. I took a photo on my phone yesterday because you're like, you know what? I'm gonna get snagged. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna get snagged and I'm gonna lose it. And sure enough, hold on. I didn't know where I got it from, but I'm pretty sure this is it. I see. Yeah, that is it. So we found the mystery crankbait that it was about killing it before I lost it, which is the Salt King Bisti Minnow. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. This is the crawfish color. So I'm gonna get two of these. Cause once again, I'm gonna lose it. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now let's find the tandem rig. All right, man, I literally don't see not one tandem rig in this entire stock. I think the issue is um, I was in the freshwater plastic. Maybe it's like a saltwater thing I need to look for. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I bought I bought um, three of these. Three of these. They're on sale for $4.79. Like I say, I, I was getting some hits before I lost it. If I can't find a good tandem rig, then bingo. All right, bet. Check it out. Look at this. I want to say they look like this. What is this, an h and Coastal Tackle Swimming Shad Double? It's kind of light, super light actually. I want to say they look like this, y'all. What size is this? This is 116 ounce. They got 116, 1 4 for 1 8. 116 almost look like too small. I'm gonna try like a 1 8. Yeah, I want to say they look like this, y'all. I don't know how do I rig this up. Is this kind of like a swivel? All right, got the 1.8, 1.16. 
I want to try the one fourth too. Try the one fourth because these right here, I don't think I can get a lot of distance on my calves. Yeah, we're gonna try these. Okay, I'm confident. One sixteenth seems just too small. The one eight looks good. So that's what we're gonna do, y'all. I don't know if these are the lures, but we're gonna go with four of them. I'm gonna get two one eight ounce and two one fourth. And we're just gonna toss them out there and see what happens. All right, so those are the two lures that we're gonna be using. The tandem rig and the Strike King crankbait. Quite honestly, if I'm right, right, from what I experienced yesterday, from that short period of time, I should catch the limit. What's the limit of Strike White Bass? Like 10? I'm not keeping fish today. And this is just the principle of the matter. So let's go ahead and head out to the creek. Use these lures, because I'm probably gonna lose half of them. Let's see, can we get on them? All right, back to the truck we go. All right, y'all, we have arrived to the park. Um, time to get all my gear. I'm not really necessarily sure if I'm going to hike it in. It's about a 20, 25 minute hike. Or am I going to just um, take my scooter? Who knows? But yeah, let's get up the gear, man. Because I got a lot of gear, man. You know, imagine all the fishing gear you, you bring with you, plus a bunch of camera gear too. It's, it's hell. So let's get the gear. Um, get packed up, head to the spot, redemption vlog, we're gonna get it. Confident, I'm 100% confident we're gonna kill it today. Yo. All right, y'all, so I'm thinking I'm electing to go with no scooter today because quite honestly, there's a lot of sandy areas around here and my scooter doesn't do well in sand. It's great on pavement, but I just don't wanna carry it around. So we're just gonna hike it out today with just the backpack. And we'll see how that works. All right, so I got hands free. I got my mosquito thermosel, not sponsored. Got one rod, one reel. Actually, I got my breakdown combo one. It's a cheap one. I couldn't get no cast good enough with it. So I got my ultra light, expensive ass rod to be able to cast out this light tandem rig. I'm gonna walk it out today, man. And um, see what we can get into. When I came here the other day, it was a weekday. Now it's a weekend. There's a ton of people out here. I'm already seeing a ton of anglers headed towards the creek. So we might have to joust for some position to get a spot, but I can make it work. Let's get it going. <laughs> oh man, it feels really good out here, man. There's a slight cold front that kind of came through yesterday. Um, so it's about 40, 45 degrees. Hopefully that made these white bass to start to run. We'll see. We shall see. Beautiful weather though. Now, I don't know what it is about the cold weather that makes these white bass run, but they're here like every year. Late February, early March, they start spawning. I guess they're heading up the creek. I'm not really sure where they're actually coming from. But, like I say, it has been unusually warm here in the Houston area. When I say unusual, meaning like it's always hot here, like always. But even around February, sometimes we get weather where it's not so, so bad. This year's a little bit different. So hopefully the cold weather brings them out. And I definitely will say the best thing about winter fishing, mosquitoes, lack of mosquitoes. Because during the summer, man, when you get this swampy area paired with warm weather, mosquitoes in Texas will pick you up, man. I said it once, I said it a thousand of times. The mosquitoes in Texas are so big, they gotta pay taxes. Now, if you come to this park, you know that you head it the right way when you go down the mangrove bridge. 
I just made that name up. But y'all can see, yeah, the water is it's transparent, but it's that dark brown. The same color of the trees. I know one thing. If this was Florida, this would be like an alligator orgy section right here. All right, y'all. It only took about 10 minutes to get to the creek. <laughs> Horses. Let's take a quick look to see how saturated it is. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six anglers. And there's some people in the spot that I want to get to, but we can kind of fit our way in there. I think I can make it work. Check out these horses. We'll see. How you doing? How you doing? The last time I was on a horse was in um, camp. No, no, I'll take that back. I was in Mexico on an excursion. My horse must have had like PTSD because it saw the beach and it freaked out. I almost lost my life. Never again when I get on a horse. All right, let's go down the hill of death, as I like to call it. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room, but we're gonna see if we can find a spot. We'll see. See a couple of guys fishing where I was at yesterday. They're soaking baits. And the waders I have are like thigh high waders. So I don't know if I can um, try to cross the river or the creek. Like I said, somebody was there yesterday fishing it and it was crazy. But we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, I want to get closer to that, but we might claim our area right here. See what we can do. Looks like there's more water moving than yesterday. I just don't know how the hell they got to the other side. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Two fish? Up to now. Two fish? No. Okay, good. So you saved some for me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? Plastic. Oh, this plastic tandem? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. All right. Little grub tail tandem is what he's using. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the gentleman behind me, man, he's just been out here, I'm not sure, but he says he's caught two. I had a lot of luck he's using that tandem rig with something like a little grub tail. So we're gonna start with this tandem rig shad, two of these, as you can see like that. There we go. That might be my thumbnail. And they, um, they glow in the dark. I'm pretty sure that these are meant for speckled trout. And I got a swivel and just tandem, no weights or nothing. We'll see how that goes. Once again, I think this tandem rig is meant for speckled trout. <laughs> so we'll see if it works though. I like the distance I'm getting on my rod and reel. Oh, oh we, we got hit. I think we're on, y'all. We got hit on a drop. Yeah, we definitely on. Let's come down. We got hit on a drop right there. And we got our first one. We got our first one. There we go. Get the water. <laughs> got one. See, lucky. <laughs> Chris. Why the bus? White bass. bass. Mm hmm. Got it on the drop, right in that section. Yeah, 
hit it on the drop. Here we go, y'all. Tanner Ray got it done. So yeah, nice fish. First one. That was on like the third cast. Well, put it back in that area. See if we can get another one. One down. Nine more to go. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Right there, right there, oh, right there. I told you, I told you, I told you, y'all. Get off the rocks. Get off the rocks. Right there, I told you. 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 They're over there, bro. There we go. Get it out. All right, y'all. Put the tandem one fourth back on. This would be a keeper. This is number three of the day. Right there. Must that swirly current. I think that's where they're at. We'll see. You. All right. See you later, buddy. She got a bite. Yeah, they're just sitting on the other side, y'all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sitting on the other side. Definitely sitting on, sitting on the side. Let's see what we got. One, two, three. This might be number four. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's too small. Yeah, about, about eight inches. Y'all might be, they might be sitting on the other side. All right, y'all. It's number four for today. Too small. It's number four for the day, so let's keep getting another one. Going back to the tandem rig, this time I'm using a one fourth ounce, the bigger one. I should get some good distance. Um, since I've been tying up the last five minutes, they've been catching them, so they might be running again. Let's see. Right there, right there in the middle of the creek, baby. Slow retrieval, keep it low, do it slow. Come on, Tano. We're gonna get 10 today. We're gonna get 10 today. We're gonna get 10 today. There we go, there we go. Keep it low, keep it slow. We're gonna get 10 today, baby. There we go, there we go. Keep it low, keep it slow. There we go, get on the boat, get on the boat. There we go. There we go. Keep it low, keep it slow. All right, y'all. This is a better one. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need my pliers. All right, there we go. I got this one really, really slow on the retrieval. Um, but it worked though. This might be a keeper at 10 inches, but I'm not keeping. Back she goes. It's 356. My back hurts. I need a back analogy. That's the hood version of a chiropractor.